and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me home. How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Man of the Match review. Today we have the Benfica striker Rodrigo. If you do fancy some coins, head over to HDFUT Coins, use that code M89 to get yourself 5% off. Now in terms of price with this Man of the Match card, he's going for 175 on the Xbox, 145,000 on the PlayStation 4. He's got a 4 star weak foot, a 4 star skill move set and he's got high to medium work rates which I do love in strikers. Now in terms of stats, not going to jump out and slap you across the face, they are pretty damn standard for a 79 rated overall, he's got good curve, dribbling and finishing, ball control isn't the best but once you've got it under control, once you've got past the shocking first touch, it is fine, you can dribble all you want, you can take players on with that 4 star skill move set which is fan bloody tastic and use that acceleration, the sprint speed to attack the opposition's defence, he is so damn fast in the game, he actually really did surprise me in terms of strength, that is a minor con, I didn't like how if he did get touched he'd hit the floor I just I hate that with players on this game as you see a nice little turn there and a smash into the top corner he is capable of that all the time a nice little there uh, was it a Berber turn there and he does smash it into the back of the net now the goals you're gonna see are pretty stand standard some of them are okay some of them are just like this where you do walk up and just tap it in the net it was a nice little bypass on the defender though and his ball control comes in he wouldn't be able to do that if his ball control was shocking now his pros speed finishing dribbling and movement in terms of speed like I said he surprised me he can sprint past any defender on this game as long as you do get that boost of acceleration or you're sprinting before your opposition has time to turn what a finish that was there hitting the ball first time into the top corner and if you are in the box I I, I really suggest I was gonna say something else I suggest you do hit it first time instead of taking the shocking first touch which really did annoy me about this card his first touch I'll I'll hit on it in a moment but that is one of the major cons with this card or Rodrigo's man of the match now in terms of dribbling fantastic but that's once you get it under control again first touch does come into play then and his movement what can I say about his movement he's constantly a menace towards that back line if he's not he is getting a bit further back getting into space getting the ball and distributing it to your more advanced wingers in this case it was Ronaldo and Salvio who were both like inside forwards attacking the defense as you see another penalty rack into the back of the net now I'll touch on that first touch once again which is um, not how I wanted to put that but anyways his first touch if it comes at him it bounces off him you want to get it under control you want to start dribbling like you're seeing on screen it was a terrible finish there I try to place it in the bottom corner but that first touch does let him down so I I do give Rodrigo a 4 out of 5, he is a brilliant player but his first touch and his strength let him down, strength not so much first touch definitely that is a major letdown for me and that will be it for this review lads, drop a like if you have enjoyed, sub if you haven't and I will catch you all next time.